Yeah. Okay. Right, so here we are at Drift Race Q, Monday morning, and uh, we're about to head to the Simpson Desert. So, yeah, a bit of a Drifter Mates trip. We've got 11 guys coming, six trucks, and frantically trying to pack up this morning. So, yeah, a lot of gear, a lot of different trucks, and we've got the Dot Simpson we just finished cut away. Yep, it's ready to go. So, Please that's going to be the new mule. Yeah. The mule and it's going to carry uh, swags and a lot of the food and all the beer, 500 cans of beer this trip. And uh, yeah, so we'll hopefully get away here in a couple of hours. And uh, yeah. what time is it? It's 12.30 now, we'll get back, get away at 2 eh? Yeah, two or three. 2 o'clock. Yeah. Another big, uh, big few weeks getting ready, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Getting your truck. Yeah. So well, my car's still the mechanic at the moment. Yeah, car's still the mechanic. <laughs> He'll be back in, the, back in an hour or so and then load that up and then we're good to go. Once we'll have to go down to sea shortly. Yeah. Well, um, let's have a look at the trailer. So, you know, it's just a big jigsaw puzzle now trying to get everything in. Uh, this is a new trailer, so it's uh, six equipped. As you can see, we're calling it the Simpson. It's, very, it's the same trailer as a Dot 6 equipped, so there's nothing special about it. Uh, probably the only thing different is our new gas bottle holder. It's the only thing different. A lot of people have been asking the last few days on social media what's different about the Simpson. That's the only difference, right? Eh? These you can upgrade to these, we've only just done it, but you can upgrade any trailer or retrofit those to your trailers. So, 6 equipped, it's got leaf spring suspension. These has got the new Lovell Springs, right? So they're 1700 kilo ATM rating. But they're Lovell Springs, you haven't tried them before. And uh, we're going to give those a go. We've been using Alco for six years. And then the very first trail about to go across Simpson Desert, chucked a set of uh, Lovell Springs. But these guys, they made them specially. You know, they're the experts in springs. They've been making springs for 80 years or something. So mostly coils, but they do also. They made those specially for us. Um, Got a new wheel cover bag on here. These are great. This is the second version. I've got the first version on my truck. This is the second version, but we've now got all the tweaks fixed up and they're on the website ready to go. So, good thing about this, it's got a PVC liner, so you don't really want to pull this off each time you want to empty it, right? You want to leave that on there and then just get this liner, rip it out, dump it in the rubbish and then put it back in. You can wash it out. It's a PVC liner, waterproof zip. This is a big bag too, right? Now, the bags, they sag down like this, they look terrible, all right? So we've got a clip here so you can hold it up, it doesn't look crap. Bag it down, nice big pocket. That's a big bag, so we made it a fair bit wider, taller, and deeper than our normal bag. So there's a lot of room for that. We've got a roof tray on top, so all our swags and stuff. I'm going to get up there and tie all that on soon. Uh, I've got a shit ton of um, charcoal, I've got eight bags of charcoal. Again, we've got 12, 11 guys for you know 13 days really, so 14 days from here back to Gloucester, 14 days. And uh, so 13 days we'll be cooking and that's a lot of gear, food, beer to carry. So, you know, the thing with these trailers, there's a ton of room, okay? You've got a six litre fridge, the kitchen, we've got a massive storage box with 10 cartons of beer in there. We've got these big canopies, right? Loaded, look at that, packed full of gear. All drifter bags, I mean, there's the go, you can just chuck them in, packs nicely. The other side's the same. Swags, bunkers on top. Um, we've got our shower here. So we can have a shower. Big storage box full of gear. We've got all this front space as well, which is very usable. Oh yeah, what's that? You wanna bring that over here? So, what's this for? Swag. Oh, thank you. You wanna say hello? Hi. Hello. How are you, Jake? Fastest sour in the bag ladder. Is that right? You've got the other fastest sour. Yeah. Thank you. He's ready to go? Just about. We'll just wait on that. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Kaido, that's for Gary to put his swag in. Yeah. Gary. Um, so all this here. Jake, that can stay. So that's gonna. That goes back in shed. We've got clear top bags. A lot of food. This one's got uh, vegetables in it, so we've gone for the standard. These are all milk crate bags, right? We don't want that to sweat, so we've got a normal milk crate bag. Clear tops of the go. Breakfast stuff, snack stuff, all the food in there. So they're going to go in Kaido's truck. 
We've got swag, we've got drifter swag for everybody. Uh, Rich and Shane, they've got a brand new swag. This is the go. You've got a pillow bag, you've got swag. This will go inside the bunker, right? So that's designed flat swag. You can sleep on the ground, but inside the bunker is perfect. So that's going on the roof, I think, too. I think that's going on the roof. That's it, Jake. So you're going to wander around, have a look at the trucks. Show me a truck. Got some upgrades done again, so. This is the bag on the back here. This is our, full of meat. This is our uh, insulator bag, right? Insulation, we've got a removable PVC waterproof liner as well, full of meat, all Kovac. Got a bit of cold storage, so that's good with that. Um, I've got my 60 litre water bladder in behind the seat, takes up no room. Look at that. There's no pump, that's just gravity fed. 60 litres in there. We've got the window boxes done, so a heap of room up here. I've got to get Eddie to put a shelf in there. Well, I've got dead man and lights and stuff, so just a really usable room. In the back, we've shown this before here, but you can see there's two window boxes. These are great. I've got, uh, you know, silky saws. This is a new silky saw. Sucked up in here. All my bags. Blankets. Oh, all my recovery gear. So a bit of gear in there. Uh, the best part of this setup is this side. Like that. So that's my interplate. Right, so I've got there for air and up and down the tyres. This is the bag for my air leads. I've got three ARB air leads so I can pump plenty of tyres up. And we've got a little air tank underneath there. And we've got the twin ARB compressor, so awesome bit of gear. Pumps up really quick. We've got the air tank, now that allows you to have pressure. So that's the big thing. If you want to, I mean, Simpson Desert is going to be very dusty. And. But that'll give you plenty of pressure. Now that's, it hasn't pumped up yet, but gives you lots of pressure right eh? so that's going to be really important for blowing out air filters pumping up tires real quick another little bag there for just some other air bits and pieces so that's a really good bit of kit all right so watch everyone around jake say good day to the other boys show me the, the, you want a sort of bridle kit so a lot happening with dynamic rope at the moment We've got a heap of rope here 20 bits of rope, I'm going to tie some soft shackles on the trip. And yeah, now getting right into it, I'll show you more later on, but getting right into the soft shackles. Then it, you can have that on the back, Jake. So, we've got all the sleeves. These sleeves are important, right? Eh? So, when you're hooking soft shackles up to a traditional style recovery point, you do need to have a sleeve. Okay, and the boot liner sleeve is the best sleeve there is. Right? A, lot of, a lot of them use nylon sleeves, you'll see that, and they just will um, they'll just tear out. Okay, so have a look under here. If you want to hook this, is pretty standard ARB, right? Or TGM's the same. That's it's not sharp, right? It's not cutting my finger, but it's too sharp for a soft shackle. That's fine, doesn't matter. You just put the sleeve through. This is the, one of the only times you need the sleeve. Right. Pretty low like that. Right, now you can hook onto there, and also on this one, use as a bridle. And that is fine, there's nothing wrong with that to hook up like that on those points, as long as you use a sleeve, okay? Now, so very important, we sell those sleeves, we sell the sleeves separately. I've got all sorts of rope here, I've got this rope, it's made in Thailand. I've got Australian rope, I've got European rope, I've got, what else? 
have a different style rope from Thailand. And I've got also Chinese rope. Okay? Now as you probably imagine, the Australian uh, the Australian ropes are most expensive. And you know, to tie a soft shackle is a big job, a lot of work. A lot of work to do that. So what we're doing. Chinese rope, okay? We've had it tested. The nickname's Chinema. It tests really well. You basically can't tell the difference. All right? There is a very, very slight difference, but these are so overrated anyway. Like you're talking a 20 ton rope, okay? So it tests almost the same. Like it's negligible the difference from what we found and what we've talked to the testers as well from uh, normal Dynema rope, the European. Dynema rope originated in, in Holland, okay? So, but it's, it's, uh, it's very well priced, so, you know, a lot of this stuff gets pretty expensive and we're trying to be mindful of getting stuff that's affordable as well, okay? So, I've tied all these myself, right? I spent a lot of time learning how to do it and there's a lot of ways to tie a dynamic knot as well, but a, a soft shackled knot, there's a lot of different ways, that's the best way of tying it, nice neat knot. And uh, so this kit's going to be $299 comes with a nice clear sock orange bag, 20 tonne soft shackle rated, two, that's, that's 12 mil rope, two 10 mil ropes, that's a 14 tonne soft shackle, rated and marked, and this is now the bridle, okay, so we'll show you more of this as well soon, but that's the bridle attached to the front of your vehicle, right, you can use it as an, a winch extension, a snatch extension, there's no giving that, that's a solid Dyneema. But very, very handy rope. Now you can use this on the front of your truck as a bridle, so you're pulling from two points, not one. That's that's the key. Okay. Uh, so it's threaded, threaded through. Again, this is Chinese Dyneema. We've got an inlay piece inside that to give it a, a larger diameter, so a larger minimum diameter radius. And there's also a sleeve there you can use as well. So that's the kit we're doing. Now, if you want it all with that in Australian rope. No problems we can do that, it's just going to be more expensive, okay? Um, you're talking $55 for soft shackle or $85 for soft shackle, roughly, okay? But well, we can do it. Australian rope, very, very nice rope, okay? In terms of what you want to use it for, there's no difference, really. Uh, but if you want to go for these, we, we do these as well. Okay, we're trying, if we did, you know, three, four of those plus the bridle, it, you know, you'd be talking a lot more expensive. We're trying to get a, a budget starters kit. Nothing wrong with this stuff. I can put a 10 year warranty in any of this gear and uh, it does the job really well. So if you want to get into soft shackles, three soft shackles and a bridle, that's where you want to get into. Uh, we'll show you more a bit later on how you use it. You want to show me what it, what's about your setup? You yeah. already packed? Yeah, how you going mate? Yeah. yeah um, so it's just 76 series, you've got the drifter drawers obviously. Um, yeah, all packed, ready to go. So. Fridge, food, beer. Got a um, bit of recovery gear. So yeah, it's all ready to go. Yeah. Oh, that's the similar truck, is it? Same stuff. Yeah. Same, same yeah. truck, just later. You might. Yeah. Be. All right. Yeah. Hey, John, Gary, you want to say hello? Oh yes, thank you. Hey, you're hey. already packed? Well, we're, we're packed, <laughs> but we're still struggling uh, with the sleeping bag. Sleeping bag? So, yeah, right. so that, <laughs> if that's one of the most important things we've got to do, well, that's about it. Yeah. Thank you. All right, good stuff. We've got left-handed zippers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A lot of Isuzu over there. They all good? Fine. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> you got everything you need, Andy? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, mean, I didn't bring the kitchen sink. It's not the only thing we left at home. Yeah, snapping scissors. <laughs> snapping scissors. Yeah, very handy. I think the first time I've So you turned your uh, like work setup into a camping setup, is it? Yeah, that's what my, you do. This is my work setup. So we've got a little bit left here. Yes. Uh, I've got a few tools and things left in here, but I've taken all the blue things out. And I've put uh, beer and camping gear in now and, and food in the drawers instead of tools. Pretty oh, cool. Very good. Very yeah, good. Doubles. Doubles up. Uh, I've got a lithium battery set up in here. Alright. Ah, down uh, hidden away now. Put these extra shelves in here. 
she did that myself. I was quite proud of that. Oh, good. I've got Beachy to make them up for me, and uh, yeah, it gives me little shelves in here, and I've got the battery sitting at the top. It's pretty cool setup. So on the other side, you have a fridge, do you? Yeah, just the other side is totally empty. There's nothing in here, but I, I did do a little trick in here too, which, which worked out good. I've got two fridges in here. Mm -hmm. I didn't go for the fridge slide because I put all tools in here normally during the day, but. I've got these little drop down drawers right there. Ah, from secret, the other side. Secret, secret entrance. Secret entrance for stashing <laughs> the beer. And Good. another extra shelf up the top for. We've got food and charcoal and water up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's come up pretty good. Very happy with it. So All right. Doubles as well. You and a camping you. Nice, nice. Yeah. Two fridges, one freezer, one fridge. Nice. Bloody good. All right, thanks, Ernie. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Oh, you mean that, that end up here? Yeah. yeah. That end up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Eh? All right, so oh, you're place. almost ready to pack. Ah. Well, I just bought these down. What, which, oh, yeah, which end up? Which end up? The upside, yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Told you this one, mate. Eh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kai just bought these down. All right. Wait, that's it. He's on these. Well, I've been working nice. on these for three years, really. This is a new bag, it's going to fit a fit an iPad in there, or even a MacBook. Mm. So, we been doing a lot of travelling. Pockets are the key, right? So I've got pockets here, pockets there. If you're travelling, your passport, in and out of customs and stuff, passport's easy, your pin's there. Uh, pockets inside, one in each side, plenty of room inside, and also pockets at the back here, so for your tickets and stuff, in and out of the, the travel gates, two pockets there. So this is uh, the navy blue Australian canvas. Wear it over your shoulder. I've got adjustability here, and that's taken a fair while to get right. Just look at that. I've got some really nice key tags. All right. Kai, a little legend, mate. He does a beautiful job. So it took a while to get that right, but that is now spot on. And this one here, and with that uh, natural leather, like that'll age over time, you know, and get a really nice golden look about it. So this is good for, we call that an EDC bag, everyday carry. Same style, right? So this has got boot liner inlaid in the back and also the base to give it a bit more stiffness or just more padding, right? So it's not so floppy because the canvas gets nice and soft. So inlaid boot liner in there and there. Got a pocket in the back, big pocket inside, twin pockets um, inside there, right? And then your pocket in the front here and your pen. And I've realised I've, I've made a few of these, but I didn't have enough pockets, and that's the key. Now we can put any, we can customise the label on the front there, so you can put your name, address, phone number, anything you like on the front there. That's just our standard drifter one. You've got a handle there. Yeah, and that's a really nice little everyday carry bag. And that's just the bigger version of that. So, let's go and show Andy, because he's had one of the original EDT bags. Andy. Andy can't. Look at this place, what do you reckon? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, how's that That's, for a canvas porn? <laughs> that, is, that is seriously unlucky. You, you've had one of the early ones, haven't you? I have, I've got it in the truck here. I've got the, one of your first ones. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, it's in here. You carry it everywhere, don't you? I do, I take it to my little man, excuse me. I took it to the doctors the other day. I had my little, um, little cook in there in case I needed to... Look at that. Yeah. That's been to England and back, that one. Yeah. So this only got the one pocket there, one yeah. big pocket here. Yeah. So look at this one I got now. Pocket on the back. Okay. Oh. Pocket on the front. Passport. Pen. Pen. And twin pockets inside. I could never find the bloody pen. No. Look, 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 where's the pen in here? You're going, Jesus Christ. Look, yeah, it's a little pen pocket, mate. It's right down the end. Look, there's my pen. I don't know. I can't, I can't get to it. Look at that, mate. Because when you're in and out of the airport, you know, your pen's right there. Because oh, I travel so much all the time. I'm, I you know, find business class everywhere, you know. And then this is the bigger version. <laughs> oh. for your, you know, like laptop or something. Wow. So, yeah. Anyway, cool, hey? can't have that one, but um, <laughs> later on. Oh, thanks. <laughs> just show me. You show me. Look how good this is. I'm yeah, you know, you can't have it. Hey, if you're showing your bags, you want to show the uh, latest one, like the the big one. Which one? Uh, the oh, on board. Yeah. yeah. You look around loose, bro. Yeah. No, you have to show me. He was he was on the roof. What do you oh, want? Okay. You want to show me? Yeah. What would you like to see? Oh, that's, that's this is my baby. <laughs> uh, show me your life bar. <laughs> yeah. All right. Man, poor man's light bar. Uh, so it's a 2013 uh, 79 series, dual cap. Uh, it's 
that's it. It's all ready to go. Yeah, it's it? all ready to go. We're all packed. I've taken the back seat out. All my stuff is in the back seat in tubs. Um, so it's just easy. I don't try and keep the weight off the back of the ute. Yeah. Um, Good. That way all the weights in the center, water bladder in the on the floor, uh, all my food, stuff, camera gear, um, clothing, bedding, it's all there. So in the back we've just got the stretcher and a, a chair, camp chair, and um, and that's about it. A couple of cartons of beer back there that we <laughs> consumed tonight because they're glass. We need to consume those before we um, <laughs> hit the hard stuff. Yeah, too heavy. Yeah, that's it. So, all right, uh, looks good. Yeah. Carrying 240 litres of fuel under the belly, so that should see us through. Um, yeah, fridge in the back, solar panel up the top, um, dual battery, 35 inch tyres, 3 inch lift. Uh -huh. um, Sounds like <laughs> you got it all sorted, ready to go. All sorted. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> plan for these sort of trips, that's what we like to do. So. Good, I'm yeah. sure you will have fun. Well, let's see oh, the truck in the doubt. Simpson. Without a doubt, we'll have fun. Yeah, looking, to, looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting all together. Down yeah. the tracks. Perfect. Uh, thanks. No, you're welcome. Where's Lukey? I think he went uh, into the house yeah. getting some stuff. How good is this? So, this is a uh, Eastside Drifter residence. Not supposed to be living here, so don't tell the council. Anyway, been here 17 years, so they can get stuffed. Anyway, that's the style, right? This is a new range, right, that we're going to be calling uh, Drifter LCC, Leather Copper Canvas. Alright, so I'm going to have LCC here, Leather Copper Canvas, which is what it is. And uh, that's, there'll be two in the range. This is another one. Oh, I love this bag. This is a, another one taking me a fair while to get right. It's amazing how much design is in a bag, right? The length of the straps. Okay for that. You can still throw it over your shoulder. And if you're going upstairs with a heap of gear, you know, you've got a couple of weekender bags and stuff, you know, you need to be able to throw a few over your shoulder because over the top of your head, if it's like this, they do they slip off, right? So if you've got a few, just down the street, whatever, it's fine. If you've just got the one, but if you're really carrying stuff upstairs, you need to throw it over like that. Got the short handles there, and I've had this for a little while now. You can see how the leather's just starting to darken up a little bit, really nice. Uh, got my little flower there, That's, you don't have to have that. Inside, it's got uh, twin pockets for sunnies, your phone, another pocket here, right, and ah, laptop case. Right, so awesome handy bag. You can use that for a, basically a, a, a nice tote bag, really. But I carry my laptop and uh, bits. instead of carrying a backpack now, I'm carrying that, right? It might look like a bit of a shield or walking around with a bag like that, but I made it, I designed it, and I bloody don't mind carrying it. So it's, it's not just a girl's bag, even though it's got a flower on it, right? Um, to me, it's better than a backpack, really. I don't like carrying walk around with a double backpack on, say, you walk around the city. So, yeah, that's iPad case. Look at that. So I do a lot, of my, a lot of my emails off this iPad and that just goes in there. So that's something we made up recently. Now also you can get your name engraved in there. That's a little bit big but name, phone number, whatever you like. Okay, it's got a, a MacBook in there. It's expensive. So same style. The navy blue. That fits in there nicely. That has a pin on there. A, a, a buckle. Right, so you can connect that together. You can have a tag on there as well. Let's look at that drifter. My name, phone number. Um, so this is a really nice set. This will be all available individually as part of the leather copper canvas range. And this was one I just designed only a few weeks ago, right? We've got the really nice weekender bag. It's upstairs, I'll grab it. But quite expensive with all the 75 rivets. They're getting expensive, right? because it just takes so long. And what I wanted was a dedicated carry-on bag, right? So this is carry-on size, slightly smaller than a legal carry-on size. And it's only got the one handle on top. So you're sort of carrying it like a suitcase, right? Suitcase style, which I've just been overseas with one of these, the first one, and it's really, really comfortable to carry that, okay? 
this is my third one. Shoulder strap, put it over your top. You've got adjustability, it's important to have that bit of adjustability to get that strap. If, if a bag on your shoulder hangs too low, it swings off your legs when you're walking and it's no good. It's got to ride about hip high. All right, so the center of the bag is so around your hip. That's the, that's the right height. If it's any lower, it's going to swing around when you're walking, right? And too high, it's not comfortable. Again, through the airports, you've got some pockets there for your passport and your tickets. This is beautifully inlaid uh, kangaroo hide. You know, big job doing that. So we've designed that and inlaying Australian kangaroo hide in there. Um, because of that size, it really needs to carry like that, right? You got your clips there, so you can take that off. And the good thing with leather straps on the side, right? You can carry around like that if you wanted to. Throw it on the conveyor belt, the airport, pull it off. This that'll never come off, okay? Inside that, they're all reinforced, okay? That will not pull out, okay? Now the first bag I did like this, I had the zip around the top. The three side of zip folds over, but it's just narrow and deep. Didn't like it, so we've gone back to this style, so you can. You can lay it down and it's designed to work as a bag like that. Okay, so you can get all your gear. Two small pockets inside and you've also got a clear top matching bag that goes with this kit. Okay, so that's designed to fit perfectly inside that. You can put whatever you like, socks and undies, toiletries, whatever. You know, use it separately. But that goes inside there. And have a look at this on the bottom too. Right, so as you can see, it's got that on the bottom. So these straps from the side go all the way around to the bottom, and you've got this little bit of protective piece on the bottom there. So that is a nice set. If I was going and travelling now, right, that's basically my kit. And if I wanted to, I've got the little EDC as well. Um, beautiful kit, you've got a pocket there. Now these won't be as expensive as the uh, premium weekender because it doesn't have those 75 rivets in it. Okay, because it's just got the one handle. And yeah, I mean that's those items there now have been finished. I've finished the design and um, beautiful kit. I'll just wait one sec, Jake, I'll get the premium weekender. So this is our Premium Weekender, this is where it sort of started. So this is our, our standard Weekender bag with some changes. It's only got the one pocket, uh, but this is our Weekender size. So if you're going away traveling, I mean really, unless you want a wheeled suitcase, and honestly, blokes don't like really, you know, you have a look on the mine workers, the fly and fly outs, how many people have got a wheeled suitcase? They don't like, they want to carry a bag, right? So this is a beautiful bag. Straps all over it, but oh, this is the second one I made, so it doesn't have the shoulder strap. It does need a shoulder strap, right? And you can't, it doesn't have it on this one. The new one's got a shoulder strap, but there's a ton of rivets in these, so that's where we started, and that's where we've gone to. So all these are going to be available separately as the LCC leather copper canvas range in that color, and we'll also do them in green with the brown trim as well. So you can see some of the kits I'm making up, I've been tying soft shackles like me life depends on it and um, you know these are really nice little kits now so we've got heaps of that going on. There's kits we're just waiting on some sleeves, we've got all this stuff here I'm going to take this with me on the trip and that's it. Alright, no worries so anyway that's sort of um, Bit of an introductory, you can have a bit more of a look around Jake if you want some of the trucks, but then you can load that up before we go. So we're going to uh, head off soon, and when we get back, of course, we'll be loading the videos of the whole trip, so we'll do that. So just a bit of a walk around introductory video now, showing you a few crazy things, and uh, alright, no worries. <laughs>